So in today's video, I'm in the BYD seal and I'm going to give you a full breakdown of all the buttons in the driver's area uh, just to help you kind of get used to things. So we're going to start from the right all the way to the left. So we'll just start here. These are all quite self-explanatory. This is the child lock for the right side. This is the child lock for the left side. So that will lock the doors and it means the windows won't be able to be moved down. Here we have the tabs for the windows. So a firm push down will open the window all the way down and a firm pull up will pull the window up like so. So a quick push down there has closed the window and a quick pull up has opened the window. This is to unlock all of the doors. This is to lock all of the doors. And here is for the angulation of the side mirrors. So if I want to change the angulation of this side mirror, I'll press this button and then I can start moving that side mirror around. When I'm done, I can just press that button again and it'll turn off. It's the same for this side. I just press this button here and then I can change the angulation with the arrows for the left side. This button here at the top tucks in the side mirrors like so and pressing it opens them again. Now here we have the steering wheel. Here are the controls for the wiper. What's interesting about the BYD seal is the wipers are on the left and the indicator stalk is on the right, which is a little bit unusual. It's normally the other way around, but it's very simple, these controls here. Um, you just twist based on what speed you want to have the wipers. It's pretty self-explanatory here, but the best thing to do is just to have the wipers in the auto setting because any moisture that's on the screen, the wipers will activate automatically. But if you want the front windshield to be cleaned with some screen wash, you just pull the tab in like so. You'll get screen wash there at the front. On the right side here, we have the stock for the indicators and also for the lights. I just keep everything on auto. So that's this setting here. Yeah, so the best thing is just to keep everything on auto. If you want to flash your lights, you just pull this tab inwards like so. And then moving on to the steering wheel, uh, we have this button here to change the display from landscape to portrait, like so. So just press this button and it'll change to portrait. Press it again and it'll change to landscape. This button here is to view the cameras. So pressing it will activate the cameras and you'll be able to see the rear camera and kind of like a bird's eye view of the car. And you can also change which camera is being shown here. So this is the front camera. This is the side camera, this is the right camera, this is the front, back again, and then both sides there. This button here, when you're on autopilot, pressing it left or right will change the follow distance between you and the car in front. This button here is to activate adaptive cruise control. So pressing it when you're in drive will activate adaptive cruise control. And then once it's on, you can change the follow distance, like I said, with these two buttons here. This button here is to help you maintain your position in the center of the lane once you are in adaptive cruise control. This button here on the right is for audio settings. So pressing mode a few times will, will help you change between Bluetooth, local, local files, an SD card or USB, and you can check radio stations there as well. This button here is for volume control. So you can increase and decrease the volume and you can also scroll between songs left and right or scroll between radio stations. Uh, if you are on any menu here, pressing this button is the back button. This button, you press it if you want to activate voice commands. So pressing it once like so. And if your phone is connected, then this is to start making calls but it's not currently connected at the moment but if you wanted to make a call call or check your contacts you can do so by pressing this button over here we have um, the control to put the car in reverse drive or neutral so you would press the brake and then choose whichever one you wanted this button here here is to turn the car on or off this scroll wheel here is for volume here we have the controls for ac button here is to defrost the front windscreen. This scroll wheel here is to change your driver mode so you can change from eco, normal and sport. So I'm going to show you now. We are just scrolling this wheel and we are able to change the driving mode. This button here is to park. This button here is to put on the hazard lights. 
Uh, so this button here is for automatic handbrake. This is useful for stop start if you're driving in the city. And this button here is to turn off traction. So that's everything for today's video. This was a full walkthrough on all the buttons in the BYD seal. If you have any questions about this, just leave it in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.